Hi guys, hello another video for you all, some more content on the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. It's been a long time since I've said that. So finally we've got the Aftershocks Endgame DLC. You have to have completed the main story arc in order to access the DLC, although developers have said there will be a patch coming soon with like a quick start option for those of you who want to skip ahead and see what the Aftershocks DLC is all about. I do suggest you play through the main story. I've really enjoyed it, played through it several times. Uh, Saints and Sinners is one of my favourite games in VR. So, we'll play through. Obviously, there's going to be spoilers. Uh, if you don't want to see spoilers, don't watch the video. So, we'll continue off from my save game. Many of them. I think this one I'm about 96 days in. Find out soon enough once it loads. I'll get it out of the way. I'm using the Rift S headset. Lots of people ask why in the videos my game looks so much better than theirs. Quest 2, as cool as it is, it's uh, not as powerful as a gaming PC, obviously. Right, so the radio's on. Flick that off. Check station 47 for Intel. Yeah, bear with me, I'm just looking around to see if anything's new because of aftershocks. Let's do a loadout check. Lever action. Bit of a glitch there. We'll take a AR with us. I've already got one on the backpack. What else might we want? Bow and arrow. Some knives. Put the National Guard knife on my hip. I'm definitely going to want some 9mm ammo. So yeah, kind of low on resources. I didn't bother to get ready for aftershocks. I know we're going to be looking for uh, caches and stuff out in the world anyway. So. Make it a bit more challenging on myself. Plenty of shotgun shells. Better jambalaya because that helps our weapons last. Mm. There goes the hunger. Full stamina bar. That's my little zoo. Remnants of the reserve wired task added to journal. Voice in the radio said something about a new cash and supplies from the reserves. Looks like I need to pay a little visit to Dana's Auto Shop in Bywater. Better be on my toes. I bet half of New Orleans heard the same announcement. So I've got to go to Bywater, search the auto body shop for the cash, and search the lumber, lumber mill office for clues. I have turned the brightness up a little bit in game to help you guys see because it can get dark in places. To the skiff. There's our star. Never bring a knife to a gunfight unless you're really good at throwing it. I do like doing that, even if you don't hit a walker or a zombie in the head, you can stagger them. We have explosive trip mines. Good to know. Starting to get Vietnam flashbacks, although I never was actually there. I've watched enough movies. Some zombies down there. Right, they're not zombies.
peekaboo. Oh, double kill. Blind firing works. All right, let's take the goodies. Six cavity bullet mold. Forty-five caliber recipe. Yeah, so those of you that didn't get everything for your playthrough, depending on the choice you made. At the reserve, you wouldn't have got the AR recipe. You will find it from these guys. They will drop stuff randomly. Take that revolver. We got that padlock. Oh, you don't kill them by killing them in the head. They will come back as walkers. Notice I'm not running around like a lunatic. Stamina is life. Just checking the watch. I don't know what to think anymore. It's all fucked up. <laughs> Five point five six ammo. It's the body shot we're looking for. Like the body shop. Got a key. That's gone into my quest part of the backpack. Torch is running low. to look around for these explosive trip mines. Oh, blew his head clean off. Matches, they're always good for gunpowder, craft ammunition. Frying pan. I know people love using that as a melee weapon. I don't. I know it's true that it's 
got infinite durability. But if you happen to rely on that and there's a crutch, I don't think you're particularly good at the game. But of course, play the game how you want to. Task updated in the journal. Eves, we cleared out the last few reclaimed that were left, but I got some bad news. The savages had the presence of mind to walk off with the key to this cache. Shep followed the freak with the key into the cannery. Got his legs blown off for the trouble. Poor fucker. The whole thing is wired to blow. Like that crazy setup we defused at Hotel Eclair. You know, in the French Quarter. Much sloppier, but the same principle. Reclaim set us up good this time, but she can't last long in there. We'll smoke her out. AJ. Alright, well we've... Got our key. Or do we? Deciding cannery key. I think that's... That's not what we're looking for. Find another key. Let's see movement. Sort of the top of her head. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, doesn't want to let me pick up the shotgun. Shotgun stuck in the ground. frame. That's a trip wire. See the propane tank. It's not going to let me up and over. Alright, let's 
wipe it here, so it'll let us up here. This whole place is rigged to blow. Under the wire we go. Yeah, they're really not messing around. Door looks clear. Outside is not. I'll stick to crouching. sure how we can disable these traps if we can at all. Let's look if we can get down that way. And he walks into that trip wire. Oh, there's the stairs to get us up. Books, bindings are used for ammo as well, so we'll take that. Nervous about opening doors now, whether that's going to throw a trip mine. Lie to that. It's the guy I was talking about, got his legs blown off. screwdriver, take the clock, never leave unless you've got a full backpack. Make our way back to the auto parts store. Uh. 
I see dead people. Practice with a bow. Fashion white. Like my arrow back, but it's stuck in them. It's hoping to put it out and stab her. shotgun on its way out. Backpack's full. There's a frying pan we talked about earlier. of the reserve that's a lot of stuff right So as I thought, prepping before the DLC and hoarding stuff wasn't really necessary. useless. It's my torch I'm trying to reach for. There we go. Alright, so. A little memento to go back in the bus.
get this feeling I'm going to get jumped on the way back to the skiff. zombie. It did say something about the lumber yard, didn't it? It's an optional quest. Listen to station 47 in the morning. I know people get triggered if they're called zombies, but the Walking Dead comics, they are called zombies in that, so yeah. It's allowed, it's canon. Right, trip wire there. Trip wire there. This is up the stairs. Ooh, mouse. Choo choo train. Back of the bus, but we'll take another. Why would it want me to come here if there's nothing here? Archangel, the other game by Skydance Interactive, really enjoyed that actually. Mech Warrior. Shamelessly plug in their other games within their games. Don't blame them. A couple of shots with this, and it's going to have had it. back at the bus.
can down, that's it. Let's make our way back to the skiff. Full frame. Or a zombie. So we'll use the shotgun up if we can. There we go. Back to the bus. Shallows, the rest in place. So, icon means you can engage in conversation. Talking to strangers can lead to tips and clues and such. We know that we've played through the story already. Right. Get rid of our rifle frames. Revolver can go. So it looks like all this is really doing is just making the, the after game a little bit more worthwhile, a bit more challenging. 
maybe there is more story. We'll just have to press on and see. I think we'll save that for another video. Yeah, but it's good to be back in the game and playing it again. I look forward to seeing what else Aftershocks has in store. So we'll leave it there, guys. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do after watching this. And as always, we'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.